Righto, tell you it, champs, and we have another mini PC from B Link. If you don't know who B Link is, they make a lot of mini PCs uh, along with other stuff. But check out some of my reviews on their mini PCs that make really good mini PCs. This one here is part of their sort of budget range. So this is very low cost. I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, what you get for what you pay for is still pretty good. Now it comes with a 12th generation Intel Alder Lake N95 processor. So that's a very low powered 15 watt processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes. Also comes with Wi-Fi 5. Now on their other B-Link stuff that I've reviewed, their mini PCs, you get Wi-Fi 6, you get uh, Ryzen CPUs. This one here, Intel 12th generation, but it's one of their budget sort of CPUs. So very low cost and this is perfectly fine for home office productivity you know watching content stuff like that don't expect to be doing some you know heavy duty tasks with this like video editing or gaming and stuff like that that's not what this is for it's for point of sale business stuff office and all that sort of stuff school work just basic stuff so let's have a look what we get in here oh they pack this stuff well they make good products this uh, B link uh, company so yeah you get the manual there the unit itself and this is how cool it is this thing replaces those big old beige boxes so you can imagine you can phase and mount these on the back of monitors or you can just have this little pc next to your you know monitor and you know replacing all those big beige boxes great for point of sale office work as i said office use and yeah, what else do we get? So we get USB type A's on the front, get a headphone jack there, there's the power button. On the back we have two HDMI, so that's the only sort of output options there. We have Ethernet, another two USB type A's, and then your power jack there. And you can see here the ventilation, and I will test how quiet it is, or how loud it is in a sec, but it's built very well, very compact, I mean, Replacing those old Ceroline, you know, office boxes with this, much better, right? And here we have the little power brick. That's it. That's it. That powers this thing here, right here. This power brick there. And there you get some bracketing, so if you want to mount it or whatever. We also get HDMI. Woof. All right, so we're giving this thing a bell, and one thing I would say is very easy to open. So it's just the screws here. I didn't have to faff about with, you know, pulling these, you know, rubber feet here off. You can actually unscrew this very easy, and it's got this pull tab, right? So you just be careful when you're pulling it, but let's pull it out. Oh. And inside there, you will see you can upgrade the M.2 SSD and the RAM. Now, it's only one stick of RAM, so you're not going to be running dual channel. You can also add a two and a half inch, or oh sorry, three and a half inch hard drive there. So yep, yeah, so that's perfect there. You can add a SATA SSD for extra storage. Just be careful with that ribbon there. But you can upgrade the RAM and you can upgrade the SSD in there. Now here's the point, right? Single channel. So the performance of this is adequate, I would say. Adequate for just office, as I said before, home office. Um, the noise from it, the fan or whatever, I couldn't really hear it. I put my ear up to it, very quiet. So you'd expect with a little 15 water in there, it's not gonna be very loud at all. And yeah, I couldn't really barely hear it at all. So yeah, perfectly fine in terms of thermal noise. You're not gonna be rendering on pishonish to the limit. So I don't think noise is really gonna be an issue at all. Now being that N95 processor, the you know, quad core 12th gen processor, it's not the most powerful processor in the world. It doesn't have hyper threading, it's just four cores, right? So, and you gotta remember, it's only running in single channel, right? So this is budget. And it's fine for those things I've said before, you know, the basic sort of stuff, but don't think you're gonna be doing anything heavy duty on this. And if it was my money, I would actually buy one of their Ryzen ones. So I've reviewed their Ryzen Nooks. They're more powerful than this. And yeah, they're, you know, extremely well built like this and they're perfect. They've got enough power, you can even game on them and, you know, you'll be able to do, you know, basic video editing and stuff like that. This thing here, it's just for basic stuff. Basic home and office stuff, productivity, you know, uh, content consumption, you know, just your basic computing task. And you can imagine an office being fit out 
you know, point of sale or just normal offices that really just need to, you know, web surf and stuff like that. You can imagine you buy a heap of these and just put them on those monitors, hook them up with the vaser mount and stuff like that. So for the price, you really can't complain. Well built, you can expand it. But for me, I would go with their more expensive one, a little bit more expensive, but you get a whole lot more with the Ryzen CPU, more powerful and you can get even six core ones and stuff like that, you know, with hyper thread in and everything like that. Um, yeah, this is your budget one. Check out my reviews of the other B Link products, the other B Link Nooks. Um, I would definitely get those over this one. Yeah, I, I like them better. So, um, but this one, yeah, if you're just on a budget and you just want, you know, basic computing needs, this will serve the purpose there. So, anyway, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho.